Number five, Elizabeth Warren, who has dipped in our rankings, but is still in the top five. Look, I think she's had a rough few months here with the DNA test that didn't exactly go the way I think she thought it was. She was going up against Donald Trump. The Stanford University DNA researcher for the test. The facts suggest that you could absolutely have a Native American ancestor in your pedigree. The report suggests Warren has just a trace of Native American heritage. The Cherokee Nation criticized Warren's announcement, saying that her use of the DNA test is inappropriate and, quote, undermining tribal interests with her continued claims of tribal heritage. Number four, Cory Booker. Now, I appreciate the comments of my colleagues. This is about the closest I'll probably ever have in my life to an I am Spartacus moment. <laughs> uh, Cory Booker, I mean, if you've been following politics for a while, right? Cory Booker is someone, a name that you've known, the former mayor of Newark. But he's actually had a pretty anti-Trump record. Please don't just come here today and then go home. Go to the Hill today. Get up and please get up in the face of some Congress people. Joe Biden. He's fired two blasts outside the house number three look he's led in all of these polls he's led in all of them but again and he's also um the vice former vice president to the most popular politician in the democratic party but another old white man you're a white male mr president you ready to move absolutely let's do this thing let's move ladies and gentlemen this guy is far beyond a bad character with women. That's enough to disqualify him. There are hugs where you just throw up your arms and go for it. And then there are hugs that keep going and going and going. Joe Biden wouldn't let Hillary go as they met on the tarmac at Scranton Airport. Nothing to see here, right? Wrong. <laughs> All right. It has nothing to do with Republican and Democrat. It has to do with having the opportunity to uh, actually uh, join the single most important legislative body in the world. Beto O'Rourke, who was at number 10, has come all the way up to number two. I think he's the biggest name, the biggest jump on our list. All of you showing the country how you do this. I'm so proud of you guys. His question was about impeachment. And you said in July that you would, as a member of the House right now, vote to impeach. Have you changed your mind? I haven't. Kamala Harris remains our number one. Look, she's in California. She has the big media market. She, has, she could appeal to African-American voters. Uh, she has a very progressive record. Can you give me a yes or no answer, please? Close. Yes or no? He has the Yes or no, sir? He yes or no. Say yes or no, and then we can move on. Look, I want a straight answer. Is there someone else, or isn't there yes or no? No. No, there is or no, there isn't. Yes.